In a world where the quest for durable and convenient products reigns supreme, a hidden threat lurks within the very items we use daily. They're known as PFAS, and they could be poisoning us all. But what are these substances, and why are they referred to as eternal chemists? Today, we unveil the scandalous truth behind these pervasive chemicals. Welcome back to our channel, where we uncover the complexities of science and technology and their impact on our lives. In this episode, we're delving into the world of PFAS, the forever chemicals that have made headlines for all the wrong reasons. As you join us on this investigative journey, you'll gain a deeper understanding of what PFAS are, how they've infiltrated our environment, and what it means for your health. Plus, stay tuned for a crucial tip on reducing your exposure to these chemicals. So what are PFAS? As we embark on this journey of discovery, our first stop is understanding the very essence of PFAS. PFAS stands for per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, a family of chemicals that have become ubiquitous in countless industries due to their unique properties. Found in everything from the non-stick Teflon in your frying pan to the Gore-Te in your waterproof jacket, PFAS are the hidden helpers in our daily lives. Their ability to repel oil and water, withstand high temperatures, and reduce friction is unparalleled. At a molecular level, PFAS are comprised of a chain of carbon atoms bonded to fluorine atoms. The strength of the carbon-fluorine bond, one of the strongest in organic chemistry, is the secret to their superpower, their persistence. These chains can resist heat, acid, and biological degradation, which is why PFAS are often referred to as forever chemicals. In the manufacturing world, PFAS are the alchemist's dream. They've been used to create coatings and products that seem to defy the natural order, resistant to stains, impervious to water, and durable beyond measure. From aviation and electronics to food packaging and firefighting foams, PFAS have woven their way into the fabric of modern society. Yet it's this very indestructibility that casts a long shadow over the legacy of PFAS. Their resilience in our environment means they do not break down like other substances. Instead, they accumulate, persist, and eventually find their way into waterways, soils, animals, and even the human body. So what are the possible environmental and health impacts? Having unraveled the mystery of what PFAS are, we now turn to their far-reaching implications on our environment and our health, consequences that are as complex as the chemical structure of PFAS themselves. PFAS have been dubbed everywhere chemicals because they've been found in the remotest corners of the Earth, from the depths of the oceans to the peaks of mountains. Their journey through our ecosystems is a testament to their durability. But this persistence comes at a profound cost. Scientific studies have unearthed a troubling link between PFAS exposure and several adverse health outcomes. These include developmental effects on fetuses during pregnancy, links to certain cancers, thyroid hormone disruption, and immune system impairments. It's as if the forever in forever chemicals extends to their lasting impact on our bodies. In the intricate web of life, PFAS climb the food chain through a process known as bioaccumulation. As these chemicals are ingested by wildlife and eventually by humans, they accumulate in our bodies, often leading to higher concentrations than in the surrounding environment. Communities located near industrial sites where PFAS are manufactured or used have faced the brunt of this exposure. In these areas, the chemicals have seeped into the drinking water supply, creating hot spots of contamination that have led to heartbreaking stories of illness and environmental degradation. The environmental and health impacts of PFAS paint a picture of a silent crisis unfolding in slow motion. While we may not see its effects with the naked eye, the science is clear. The legacy of PFAS is a growing concern that calls for immediate attention and action, urging us to reconsider the cost of convenience and the chemicals we live with. As we peel back the layers of the PFAS narrative, we arrive at a juncture where science and ethics collide, revealing a scandal that reverberates through the halls of industry and governance. Despite their utility, the dark side of PFAS began to surface as internal documents and scientific studies pointed to their potential harms. It emerged that some manufacturers knew about the risks associated with these chemicals for decades. Yet, the production and use of PFAS continued, often prioritizing profit over public health. The unfolding scandal took the form of a slow-motion betrayal of public trust. As far back as the 1960s, evidence of the toxic nature of PFAS started to accumulate. By the 2000s, the reality could no longer be contained as lawsuits and investigative reports brought the issue into the public eye. In the ensuing years, a battle raged between regulatory bodies, environmental advocates, and the chemical industry. Regulatory responses varied widely, 
with some regions implementing bans and restrictions, while others lag behind mired in bureaucratic inertia and industry lobbying. Amidst the flood of data and debate, the most poignant narratives emerge from those directly affected. Communities near manufacturing plants, military bases, and other PFAS hotspots began to share their stories. Tales of unexplained illnesses, environmental blight, and a growing sense of injustice. The PFAS scandal is more than a cautionary tale of industrial oversight. It's a mirror reflecting the broader issues of accountability and the long-term stewardship of our environment. It's a complex saga of discovery, denial, and the quest for truth, urging us to confront the hidden costs embedded in the conveniences of modern life. So what regulation and cleanup efforts are being done? With the mounting evidence of the pervasive and persistent dangers of PFAS, the wheels of change have begun to turn, albeit slowly, towards regulation and cleanup. This effort is a tapestry of science, policy, and the human will to correct past mistakes. Globally, the response to the PFAS crisis is as varied as the chemicals themselves. International conventions like the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants have started to include certain PFAS compounds, signaling a shift towards global recognition of the problem. Cleanup efforts are underway, employing a range of technologies designed to filter and remove these substances from contaminated sites. Activated carbon filters, ion exchange treatments, and advanced oxidation processes are at the front line of this battle striving to cleanse our soil and waterways of these forever chemicals. On the regulatory front, the landscape is a mosaic of action and inertia. In some countries, specific PFAS have been banned, and strict regulations have been put in place to limit their release into the environment. However, these actions are not without their challenges. The sheer number of PFAS compounds, combined with their widespread use and lack of readily available alternatives, complicates the path to regulation. In the face of these challenges, there is innovation and adaptation. Some industries have begun phasing out the use of PFAS, searching for safer alternatives to fulfill the functions that PFAS once dominated. This shift is not just driven by regulation, but also by consumer awareness and demand for non-toxic products. The road to regulating and cleaning up PFAS is fraught with complexity, yet it's a path we must navigate with determination. As new policies take shape and cleanup efforts continue, there is hope that we can mitigate the impact of these chemicals on our environment and our health. It's a collective endeavor, one that requires vigilance, innovation, and a commitment to a sustainable future. So we've uncovered the paradox of PFAS chemicals that bring convenience at a potentially grave cost to health and the environment. These eternal chemists persist, accumulating in the world around us and within our own bodies. As we wrap up this deep dive into the world of PFAS, the key takeaway is clear. The choices we make in the products we buy and use have far-reaching consequences. To play a part in the solution, stay informed, advocate for stronger regulations, and consider reducing your personal exposure by choosing PFAS-free products. Examine labels and choose PFAS-free products when available. Whether it's cookware, clothing, or cosmetics, opt for alternatives that do not use these forever chemicals. Your choices can have a ripple effect that prompts companies to seek out and offer safer options. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video enlightening and subscribe to our channel for more critical insights into the science that impacts our daily lives. Together, we can turn the tide on environmental scandals and strive for a healthier future.